So you need wire mesh molds, but are you starting to wonder if it makes more sense to just make your own? What does that entail? Does it make sense for my operation? We'll explain all that and more, so stick around. Hi, my name is Andrew Kotlar, and the pulp and fiber industry is booming. As demand increases, manufacturers have to improve lead times while maintaining feasible efficiency. One of those ways is by fabricating more components in-house, like molded wire mesh screens. So, when should in-house molded screen production be considered, and when should it not? Well, here at WS Tyler, we understand that there are a lot of uncertainties surrounding the handling, forming, and implementation of wire mesh. So we strive to use our 150 years of experience to help customers understand woven wire mesh and all the processes needed to weave it into their operation. So in this video, we'll go over what molded pulp and fiber is, the screen media used to form molded pulp and fiber goods, the advantages and disadvantages of fabricating your own molds, and WS Tyler's ability to fabricate custom pulp and fiber screen molds. Molded pulp and fiber are products made from a slurry of paper, various fibers, and water. The fibers used during this process are typically made from either sugarcane, bamboo, straw, or other miscellaneous materials. This slurry is formed using a combination of up to 50 psi of vacuum pressure and a lot of heat. But to make sure the product is properly formed, metallic dyes layered with screening media are fabricated and integrated into the production line. So if you want to create an even distribution of pressure and heat during the molding process, the metallic dyes are layered with some sort of uh, screening media. Generally, this screening media comes in the form of woven wire mesh, perforated plate, or expanded wire. For applications that require increased durability, a multi-layered sintered mesh can also be used. When you're forming the screen media, the media is pressed against a plank mold using a specialized press machine. After that's done, the screen media will mirror and hold the shape of the mold and be placed in the production line. So the biggest benefit of creating your own screen molds is that you can produce your own specifications whenever you need them. You would completely eliminate the need to lean on third-party companies to maintain an inventory of screen molds. And because of that, it'll help you maintain reasonable lead times. Also, producing molded screens in-house makes operations that call for branded goods much more efficient. Third-party companies can design custom dies for your needs, but the amount of time needed to set up the necessary tooling would raise both the cost and lead times of your molds. It can be pretty beneficial to construct your own screen molds, but there are some disadvantages that should be taken into consideration. Possibly the most significant thing is the initial cost of the required machinery. Not only that, but you're also responsible for any maintenance needed down the road, which you know, can be a major concern to organizations trying to minimize unexpected expenditures. You should also note that the machinery can be relatively large. With the machinery you'll need to mold the fiber along with the pressing equipment, those limited on space may consider seeking third-party assistance. The final disadvantage is that the pressing process can be labor-intensive. Uh, this means members of your staff will need to be trained to use the press, possibly taking manpower away from other aspects of your operation. If you are unable to produce molded wire mesh screens in-house or you just simply want to have an experienced manufacturer handling your mesh, WS Tyler is equipped to fabricate certain mold specifications. Having said that, when reaching out to WS Tyler to inquire about custom molds, there are several pieces of information regarding the, the mesh screen that you should have ready to help us understand if we can handle the scope of the project. This includes shop drawings of the molds, uh, mesh specifications, order quantity, and uh, required tolerances. Now, initially there is an eight to 12 week lead time, depending on the complexity of the mold, but lead times commonly shorten once initial molds are made. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotler and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.